Hybridization is the process in which atomic orbitals with different shapes and energies mix to form a new set of equivalent orbitals, known as hybrid orbitals, which have the same shape and energy. First, we need to understand the important rule of hybridization, and after that, we will move towards the types of hybridization. Always remember that the number of hybrid orbitals obtained is always equal to the number of atomic orbitals intermixed. For example, if 1s and 3p atomic orbitals are involved in mixing, then the number of hybrid orbitals obtained will be 4, because 4 atomic orbitals are involved in mixing. There are three common types of hybridization based on the mixing of s and p orbitals, and they are sp3, sp2, and sp hybridization. First, let's explain sp3 hybridization in detail. We can define sp3 hybridization as a type of hybridization in which 1s and 3p atomic orbitals are intermixed to form 4 sp3 hybridized orbitals. Let's take the example of methane. The hybridization of carbon in methane is sp3. But one important point we need to clarify before going into detail is how we can check the hybridization of the central polyvalent atom in a molecule. To check it, we need to count the total steric number of the polyvalent atom. The steric number refers to the total number of bonded and non-bonded electron pairs of that atom. For example, if we apply this to methane, it has four single bonds and no lone pair is present on the carbon atom. Its steric number will be four. And sp3 hybridization involves 1s and 3p orbitals. So, so, in this way, we can confirm that the hybridization of carbon in methane since steric number is 4. First, let's have a look at the ground state electronic configuration of carbon. It has one electron in the 2px orbital, one electron in the 2py orbital, and the 2pz orbital is empty. In the excited state configuration of carbon, one electron from the 2s orbital will be promoted to the 2pz orbital. These four orbitals will then overlap to form four sp3 hybridized orbitals. If we look at the shape of methane molecule, it has four hybridized orbitals, and each orbital is overlapping with one s orbital of hydrogen to complete four carbon-hydrogen bonds. In case the overlapping is called sp3 and s orbital, because sp3 orbitals. Orbital of carbon is overlapping with s orbital of hydrogen to form sigma bond. The shape of the methane molecule will be tetrahedral, and the bond angle is 109.5 degrees. Let's take one more example of sp3 hybridization to understand it more deeply. Take the example of the ammonia molecule. By applying the steric number formula, we can check that nitrogen is making three single bonds with each hydrogen. So, it means nitrogen has three bonded electrons. Since nitrogen is a member of group 5A to complete its five valence electrons, it needs to have one lone pair. Now, let's calculate the total steric number. There are three bond pairs and one lone pair, which will give a total of four steric numbers. This confirms that nitrogen in ammonia is sp3 hybridized. If we consider the electronic configuration of nitrogen, it has one electron each in the 2p orbitals. Keep in mind, in this case, there is no need to excite an electron from the 2s orbital to the p orbital because the already present electrons will repel the incoming electrons. We need to excite electrons only in cases where any 2p orbital is empty, and an electron can jump from the 2s orbital to that p orbital. So, in the case of ammonia, 1s and 3p orbitals will overlap to form 4 sp3 hybridized orbitals. The shape of the ammonia molecule is trigonal pyramidal, and the bond angle will be less than 109.5 degrees due to the reason that the lone pair will occupy more space than the bond pairs, causing the overall bond angle to shrink. Now let's move towards sp2 hybridization. We can define sp2 hybridization as the process in which 1s and 2p atomic orbitals intermix to form three sp2 hybridized orbitals. Here, the steric number will be 3 because 1s and 2p orbitals are involved in mixing. Some common examples of sp2 hybridization are boron trifluoride and the ethene molecule. First, let's understand the shape of boron trifluoride based on hybridization. Since boron is making three single bonds with fluorine, its steric number will be 3, confirming that the hybridization state of boron in BF3 is sp2. The atomic number of boron is 5, and its electronic configuration shows that it has one electron in the 2px orbital, while the 2py and 2pz orbitals are empty. In this case, we need to excite one electron from the 2s orbital to the 2py orbital, which will be called the excited state electronic configuration of boron. Now, the 2s orbital will intermix with the 2p orbitals to form three sp2 hybridized orbitals. Since the 2pz orbital is empty, it will not be considered. 
If we look at the structure of boron trifluoride, three hybridized orbitals of boron will form single bond by head-to-head, -head, overlapping of 2p orbital of fluorine to make three bond between boron and fluorine. The shape of boron trifluoride will be trigonal planar, and its bond angle will be 120 degrees. In the case of ethene, if we apply the steric number formula, the result will also be 3. Here we need to understand one important point that double and triple bonds are also counted as one steric number. It means if an atom forms a double or triple bond with another atom, it must be considered as one steric number. Let's apply this to ethene. It has one double bond and two single bonds with hydrogen, so its steric number is 3. Confirming the sp2 hybridization of carbon in the ethene molecule. Now let's consider the electronic configuration of carbon again, as we already discussed in the case of methane. An electron from the 2s orbital will be promoted to the vacant 2pz orbital. During this process, 1s and 2p orbitals will overlap to form three hybridized orbitals. One thing we need to consider here is that although one electron is present in the 2pz orbital, it is not involved in the intermixing of atomic orbitals and will be called an unhybridized orbital. Unhybridized orbitals are those atomic orbitals that do not take part in the hybridization process and are involved during the formation of a pi bond. The geometry of the ethene molecule is trigonal planar and the bond angle is 120 degrees. Now we can move towards sp hybridization. It can be defined as the type of hybridization in which 1s and 1p atomic orbital intermix to form 2sp hybridized orbitals. In this case, the steric number will be 2. Some common examples of molecules having sp hybridization are beryllium dichloride and ethane. First, let's explain the shape of beryllium dichloride. To make it clear, let's look at the structure of beryllium dichloride. Since beryllium is making two single bonds with chlorine, its steric number will be 2, which confirms sp hybridization. If we look at the ground state electronic configuration of beryllium, its atomic number is 4, and the 2p orbitals are empty because all four electrons are present in the 1s and 2s orbitals. In this case, we again need to excite electron, and one electron from the 2s orbital will be promoted to the 2px orbital. In this way, these two atomic orbitals will overlap to form 2sp hybridized orbitals. The shape of the molecule will be linear, and the bond angle will be 180 degrees. Now let's take one more example to make it clear. The hybridization state of carbon in ethane is sp, which is confirmed by the steric number as well. Since carbon is forming one triple bond with another carbon and one single bond with hydrogen, the overall steric number will be 2, which confirms its sp hybridization. Again, consider the ground state electronic configuration of carbon. Here we again need to promote an electron from the ground state to the excited state. But keep in mind, only 1s and 1p atomic orbital will overlap to form two sp hybridized orbitals. Since the 2py and 2pz orbitals are not involved in overlapping, they will be called unhybridized orbitals and will only participate in the formation of pi bonds. If we look at the shape of the ethane molecule based on hybridization, it has a linear structure. One hybridized orbital forms a single bond with hydrogen, and the second orbital forms a sigma bond with the carbon atom. The first pi bond is formed by the overlapping of the unhybridized 2py orbital of one carbon with another carbon in ethane, and the second pi bond is formed by the side-to-side -side overlapping of the two pz orbitals. In this way, one sigma and two pi bonds are formed between the two carbons in the ethane molecule. The bond angle in the case of sp hybridization will be 180 degrees. This concludes our hybridization topic on bases of mixing of s and p orbitals. If you have any question regarding this topic, you can ask them in comments. And if any other specific topics you want, I should cover in next video. You also can mention them in comment section. Thanks for watching this complete. I hope it was helpful for you in preparing exams.